I wonder how happy the Japanese are. I wonder how happy the South Koreans are, the Malaysians, the Indians. I go through it one by one. In the FX market, as you know, Kristalina, mm, we've yep. got a record low for the rupee. Mm -hmm. The Malaysians have had to intervene yep. in the FX market. The Japanese, the South Koreans are threatening to. Mm -hmm. Can you give me just a, a decent impression of what that's been like at the forum so far, the spring meetings? What have they said to you about that? How loud are the complaints? Of course it is concerning uh, because as you said, when the dollar is up, many other country, cu currencies are down. Not all, but many other currencies are down. Uh, and what that leads to is concern about how long that may last. So that's what I hear from countries. How long would the Fed be uh, stuck with higher interest rates? And uh, when they start easing, can we expect that this would take the interest rates in the United States down a little faster? Uh, and the answer to these uh, uh, two questions is uh, uh, not an easy one. On the um, interest rates, the Fed is doing the right thing. They're watchful. Keep your eye on the ball. And at this point, the ball is bouncing up and down, and the Fed is not yet prepared, and rightly so, uh, to cut. We still remain optimistic that within this year, conditions in the United States would allow the Fed to start cutting. For how fast? Uh, I don't think that we should gear up for rapid decline in interest rates. Can I jump rates. in and ask you what you think the source of that optimism is? What's behind that? What leads you to believe that those interest rate cuts are coming? Well, what, what we're seeing is um, the uh, economy is indeed slightly overheated, but part of it comes from the uh, fiscal stance of the United States. Uh, so there is room to cool a bit the economy just by being more watchful, and it would help the United States overall because, uh, as we know, deficit uh, has gone up to 7%. The second reason is that uh, so far, the uh, business environment in the United States has not reacted very firmly to the interest rates being high, but we see a little bit of softening underneath, especially uh, in SMEs. And that tells us that high interest rates ultimately bite. Can I tease that out just a little bit more? Are you effectively saying to us that the US exceptionalism that so many people are talking about is ultimately unsustainable? I didn't say that. I'm uh, asking. I, I, would, I would tell you, where, what are the sources of this exceptionalism? And I think they're with us to stay. One is very deep capital markets. People are coming here not only because they can generate more income with high interest rates, they're coming here because the economy is very vibrant and capital markets are, are deep. Second, innovation in the United States move very quickly from idea to a venture and then to scaling up. And three, the US is tapping into a very vibrant labor force right next door. What in the eyes of many people is a problem, and I, I admit there are elements of this uh, uh, flow of people that is concerning, is actually feeding into the labor market of the United States in a way that keeps wages lower than in some other uh, countries and keeps uh, the ability of businesses to grow basically unlimited.